It's far from the first time Emmanuel Macron's government has made use of Article 49, Paragraph 3 of the Constitution. But this is perhaps its most controversial application. Following months of protests and heated debate in Parliament and in the street. The 49 3 allows a Prime Minister to push a bill through the National Assembly without a vote. The law is then considered adopted, although the opposition has 24 hours to call a vote of no confidence. If the motion gets approval from more than half of the Assembly, the bill is rejected and the government must resign. Opposition parties say they will request a no-confidence motion to be voted in the coming days. But in practice, the government rarely loses, as different political factions are loath to vote for rivals' motions. Only one no-confidence vote has ever been successful since the constitution was established in 1958. And this one is unlikely to pass either, as most conservative lawmakers are expected to side with the government. Even so, resorting to the 49-3 is a blow for Macron's government. It gives ammunition to the opposition and to trade unions who cast the reform as undemocratic. And with two-thirds of French people against the bill, it risks fueling public anger. The 49-3 is the final straw. I mean, it's the embodiment of several weeks of authoritarianism and a denial of democracy. This forced passage with the 49-3 is unbearable and we won't accept it. Thursday saw the 100th time the articles being used and the 12th under the current government, which came to power last May without a parliamentary majority. Within moments of the government bypassing parliament, impromptu demonstrations took place opposite the National Assembly and in cities across the country. Donc cette semaine, on va encore faire plus fort que ce qu'on a fait les jours précédents, que ce soit dans le gaz ou dans l'électricité. Et d'ailleurs, je, je le dis avec mes mots, mais vous avez, vu, vous avez vu que les terminaux méthaniers étaient bloqués, vous avez vu que les, les stockages étaient bloqués aussi. Il ne reste plus que tous les sites de GRDF, finalement, et c'est certainement le mot d'ordre qu'on va lancer dès ce soir. Le scrutin est clos Résultat du scrutin, votant 344, exprimé 307, pour 195, contre 112, le Sénat a adopté.